This is not how I expected festival season 2020 to go. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about Coachella and what's going on with it. Um, I didn't think that this would happen. None of us thought that this would happen. It's such a crazy, crazy world we're living in today. So we're going to talk a little bit about Coachella and what's happening with the postponement because I was planning on going to Coachella and you guys know I was very excited about it. So we're going to have just a quick little chit chat about it, about what's going on and what my plans are and everything like that. If you are new here, my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. I have a blog and a YouTube channel all about going to music festivals. And I went to Coachella back in 2017. I talked about it. That was my first time ever going to Coachella. It was my first big three-day festival. It inspired me to create my brand vibe with Aid. So I was really excited to make the return this year um, and see what's up, see what's changed, see what's different. And from the eyes of a content creator and an influencer and everything. So I was super, super excited. However, the coronavirus struck. So we are going to talk about that. Hit that subscribe button to join the Vibe Tribe, everything like that. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So normally I script my videos, but this one we're just gonna kind of like talk it out and whatnot. I'm kind of just free balling it, I guess. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, first thing I wanna talk about is the coronavirus and everything that's been happening with that and my initial thoughts about it. Because this is something that I did not really expect to impact me in a way. When I was growing up and certain viruses and things were going around, they didn't really impact me too much. And I just always kind of proceeded with caution and just like practice good hygiene and everything. And just didn't really think that anything would happen to me. And then with the coronavirus, I was kind of thinking the same thing. You know, it's going to go away. It's just like a quick thing. It's going to get quarantined. It's fine. And... I was wrong, a lot of people are wrong. This is actually a very kind of serious matter that it's become for us and for a lot of other people too around the world, which is so, so crazy. I'm not gonna comment too much on the coronavirus um, just because I'm not like a professional or anything. I did watch Joe Rogan's podcast, which I will link down below for you guys. I think that's a really good informative video because there is a lot of misinformation out there so I think that's a really good video to check out. I will be doing a podcast episode on this in about two weeks I think just to kind of talk a little bit more about it after I get more of the facts and more stuff kind of progresses with festival season. I'm going to be doing a whole podcast episode about the coronavirus and about festival season and kind of how that's impacting all of us so be sure to check that out. Um, but today we're just going to be talking about how it's impacting Coachella. If you've been following festival season at all, you'll know that Ultra Miami was canceled as of two weeks ago. It was announced that it would be canceled due to the impact of the coronavirus because so many people travel from out of the country and out of state and they just didn't want to risk it. It'd be a huge liability for them to continue the event. And because Ultra is such a big staple in the festival scene, it's a big staple in general when it comes to big events. Um, it was very interesting to see what was going to happen next and what festivals would follow after that. I remember when it happened, a lot of people were asking me what I thought about it, if I'm going to cancel any festivals, if I think any other festivals are going to get canceled. And I just try to stay positive throughout this whole thing. Someone had asked me if I'm scared to travel or anything like that, which I'm not really that scared to travel. I am a generally healthy person. I know my voice sounds like this right now. That's because I was singing a ton at Crossed, and when I was at Crossed, they had a bunch of hand sanitizer stations. Always practice good hygiene, washing my hands and everything like that, so I haven't really been that scared to travel. And my two cents on it is just to go out and still live your life. Don't live in fear. The moment that you let fear kind of take over your life, that's when you let it win. And so, you know, it's just proceeding with caution and whatnot. I was hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that cross would still happen. So cross did happen. If you want to go check out those vlogs, I'll put the playlist up here for you to go check out. It was a really great festival. And next week I will be going to Buku. So Buku has announced that they are not canceling and that they're just monitoring the situation, I believe. I recorded this yesterday. It's March 12th. This did not age well, you guys. Buku just announced that they are canceling or postponing the festival until September. So I will be recording a video tonight about that. So details about that coming soon. 
Then there was a report, I think it was on Sunday or this past Sunday or Monday, we were packing actually after Crossed and there was a confirmed case in Riverside County, which is really close to Coachella. So that was kind of like, oh, that does not sound good. If there's like a confirmed case, then there that might be something that could potentially postpone or cancel Coachella. So we were kind of monitoring it, monitoring it. And then by like, I think the time I got back to Arizona, there was already news articles that Coachella was going to get postponed. It was like so rapid fire quick. I was so surprised by it. And then lo and behold, yesterday they did post a statement that they are going to be postponing. So they said, at the direction of the County of Riverside and local health authorities, we must sadly confirm the rescheduling of Coachella and Stagecoach due to COVID-19 concerns. While this decision comes at a time of universal uncertainty, we take the safety and health of our guests, staff, and community very seriously. We urge everyone to follow the guidelines and protocols put forth by public health officials. Coachella will now take place on October 9th, 10th, and 11th, and October 16th, 17th, and 18th, 2020. Stagecoach will take place on October 23rd, 24th, and 25th, 2020. All purchases for the April dates will be honored for the rescheduled October dates. Purchasers will be notified by Friday, March 13th on how to obtain a refund if they are unable to attend. Thank you for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you in the desert this fall. That was their official statement. It was very interesting because Ultra also had sent out their statement on what's going to happen with their tickets on Monday. And they had said that if you purchase a ticket to Ultra, you can either go to Ultra 2021 or 2022. There are no refunds available. And there was also some like golden ticket stuff, merch stuff, whatever. So a lot of people were really upset that there are no refund option. So it's very cool that Coachella is offering a refund option and that it's later in the year. I'm surprised that it's still happening this year. So I'm very interested to see how it's going to turn out. Having Coachella in October, there's also some unanswered questions of like, does this mean that there will be another Coachella six months later in April? Um, so it's all very interesting to see how it's going to play out. So how do I feel about it? Honestly, like festivals are going to do what they're going to do and I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. I'm not really that upset. I'm just kind of like, okay, like whatever, we'll figure it out kind of thing. If lightning in a bottle or electric forest, however, get canceled, that's where I'm really going to get like my heartstrings tugged, I feel like, because you know, I've never been a lightning in a bottle. That was my top one to go to this year and electric forest is home. So we all are all going to keep our fingers crossed for that one. But you know, I'm really happy that it's still happening. And I know some of my friends were really concerned of like how well it's going to be executed in the fall and I was like if it's going to be bad at least I'll be there for the content you know what I mean <laughs> but Golden Voice is such a good production company that I think it'll be fine it'll get resolved and everything another thing a lot of people are worried about the lineup if it's going to be the same lineup I'm slowly starting to see artists confirm that they're still going to be there so that's really exciting it'll be interesting to see if those three main headliners still stay the same so I guess we'll see if they do like a re-announcement after they've kind of confirmed with all of the artists that they'll still be there so that will just kind of be like a wait and see see kind of thing. So I will be going to Coachella. Coachella weekend one overlaps with ACL weekend two. So I'll be interested to see if that impacts ACL at all, any attendance, any artists, anything like that. So I guess we'll see about that. And then I will be going to ACL weekend one. That's just always the weekend I'd like to go. So I'll be out weekend one and then I'll get a little break and then I will go to Coachella weekend two and then I get another little break and then I will be going to escape. So the fall is now looking very packed for me. So we will see how this all turns out and plays out. But I am still really excited. I'm a little bit more hurt because I did have my outfits ready to go. And I did film an outfit video for Coachella that I'm just gonna have to like move back. One thing I'm not too sure about is what the weather is gonna be like at that time. So I'm gonna have to figure out like if outfits still apply for that time. Like, is it hot? Is it cooler? Cause I still really like my outfits and it'd be cute to still wear them. But if the weather is gonna be different, I guess we'll just see. So that's something that I'm thinking about. And as for what I'm gonna do now. Me again, because things are just changing so constantly. I don't even know at this point. I do have tickets to Ubby Dubby. I have sold enough tickets through my code to attend Ubby Dubby. So if Ubby Dubby does not get canceled, I will see you guys there. That is my formal announcement. As long as it doesn't get canceled, I will see you there. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. 
Um, it's a very interesting situation. This whole thing is a very interesting situation. We will see how it impacts the rest of festival season. I'm glad I at least got to go to Cross, but we'll see what happens with all the other festivals this year and everything. Hopefully, if you guys were going to Coachella, you're able to get your ticket sorted out, your flight sorted out, as well as like if you were staying at a hotel or Airbnb, I would just give a call to either of those and see if you can get your money back because this is a very unique situation and it's really sad to see you know, not just like the festival get impacted, but everything else around it. All the businesses that have to deal with festivals and make money and rely off festivals. That's the part that's getting really sad for me when I think about it is like people bank on a ton of people coming to Indio that weekend and like people bank on a bunch of people coming to Miami and like whatever it may be. And like small businesses rely on people needing outfits and like accessories and stuff like that. So it is a very scary and sad situation. So we will just have to monitor it and see what happens. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, I am going to do a podcast episode. So if you guys have any thoughts or anything, um, I'll definitely feature it, talk about it. If you have any questions, stuff like that, feel free to comment it down below. I swear I have a ton more fun videos. This was just kind of a more somber topic to talk about. But yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you all for the support and I will see you in the next one. Bye.